Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're taking a look today at the ThinkPad T460S from Lenovo. This is the latest in a very long line of rugged business computers that began with IBM, but Lenovo bought out the ThinkPad line uh, from IBM a number of years ago, and this one is uh, continuing a very long tradition. Now, I should mention before we get into the hardware review that uh, this came in from Lenovo on loan. So after we're done with this video, it gets sent back to Lenovo. They are not paying for this review. I have no financial relationship with them. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and nobody is reviewing this video before it is posted. So let's get into the hardware now and take a look at what this is all about. Uh, so this is a, a three pound laptop. It's about 1.4 kilograms. It's got a 14 inch 1920 by 1080 display, so a full HD display. It's a matte finish, meaning it doesn't have that shiny glass on the front of it, so you can see it doesn't reflect all that much. Uh, this is my studio light here, so that's uh, it's always going to reflect no matter what you put it on, but uh, this is a very non-reflective screen, and I know a lot of you like that, and it's a touch screen too, which is not something I've seen on a lot of non-glossy displays, so a full 10-point uh, touchpad on here, which is pretty nice to see. Very nice keyboard and trackpad arrangement here. You've got the uh, standard ThinkPad little uh, 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 I call it an eraser, like a pencil eraser here, so you can move your cursor around that way uh, or use the click pad here at the bottom. Uh, both work very well. A lot of people have been accustomed to that a little nub there over the years, so that is in there. Uh, wonderful keyboard. These computers have had the best uh, PC keyboards for a very long time, and this one continues that. Uh, really nice, deep travel to these keys. Very rugged feeling, nice spacing, very nice size keys as well, so a real pleasure to type on this. It uh, really fits the uh, standard keyboard we've seen on ThinkPads for many, many years. And because this is a business laptop, uh, there are a ton of ports on the side of it. So you've got your power here, USB 3.0 over here, a headphone microphone jack, an SD card reader. And on the other side, you got a bunch of stuff. You have a, a ID card slot here for uh, in institutions that require identification cards to be inserted into computers before they are booted. Another USB 3 port, display port out, HDMI out, a full-size HDMI, an always-on USB 3 port here for charging devices even when the laptop is off. Uh, and of course, you've got gigabit ethernet, and some of these models have a uh, SIM card slot so that you can uh, use a 4G or 3G connection with it. So a lot of connectivity, and of course, you need that because this is a business laptop. As a result, it's not the thinnest laptop you'll see, uh, but it's really nice because they did bring the weight down quite a bit. It does have a metal casing on it as well, so it is rather rugged feeling. And it's just a little bit larger again because it has all that connectivity built in, but uh, not bad on the weight for uh, all that you get on this. Now, what's interesting is this has two batteries built into it. I think it's more of a, an engineering issue that led to that, but uh, there's a battery in the front and a battery in the back. It does make it very well balanced in its weight. Uh, but it doesn't uh, add all that much to your battery life overall. So you're going to get about any, I've seen about six hours is about the max I've seen uh, kind of doing just normal word processing and web browsing tasks on here. So the battery life is not great, uh, especially for a business notebook that might be away from its desk for some length of time. I think if you turn down the display brightness a bit, uh, really kind of fiddle with some of those, uh, those settings, you might be able to do a little bit better. It also has a fingerprint reader on the front here. So if I just uh, hold my finger down here for a second, it will let me right into the laptop. So that's a really nice feature to have. Uh, these ThinkPads have had these fingerprint readers on for years and years, but now Windows supports that kind of technology uh, natively, which is really nice. Now, this one comes equipped with 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, as well as a 256 gigabyte SSD. I think the way this one is configured, it'll run about $1,200 or so. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to configure this thing because it is kind of a corporate laptop, so you will have a lot of different pricing options. It starts, though, around $900 or so uh, with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now, it's interesting and we're not going to take it apart here, but I will link to uh, a website that did take it apart. Uh, very easy to get into these things. So you can unscrew the bottom here, uh, get full access to everything uh, beneath it. And what they did with the RAM is they put four gigabytes of RAM on the motherboard, and then they have an SODIM slot for adding additional RAM. So you can put up to 20 gigabytes of uh, RAM into this computer. It's DDR4 RAM too, dual channel. So you do have uh, some faster memory uh, on this one than we've seen on some other uh, laptops that were uh, coming configured similar to this one, so that's a good thing. Wireless AC, 2x2. Two two. Uh, this one has a Skylake i5 processor built in. Uh, it's an i5-6300U at 2.4 gigahertz. There are i7 versions available too. So again, you can really uh, configure this thing in a bunch of different ways. Uh, the SSD is also replaceable. It is an M2 SSD though and not a standard uh, M SATA, regular SATA drive, so you'll need to get one of those smaller card-based SSDs to get it going there. So let's see now how it performs, and we'll put it through our usual barrage of tests. All right, so let's unlock it again with my fingerprint, and we'll get into some web browsing first. We'll load up my YouTube channel and go to one of my 4K videos I have up on 
uh, the screen there. Now remember, this is being down converted to this screen resolution, but it is playing back a uh, full-size 4K movie file. We're getting really good frame rates here. I'm not seeing any drop frames. We'll load up our stats for nerds and just confirm that, but it looks like everything is playing back uh, just fine here. It looks very nice on this display too. The display looks really good, a really good color balance on it. I did find that uh, so there's some ghosting around some brighter objects against darker objects. So if I uh, minimize our window here briefly, uh, like this ThinkPad thing, there usually is a little bit of ghosting around it against the black backdrop there. It was the only thing I really noticed on the display that uh, was worthy of uh, mention, but it is very bright, uh, really nice to look at. And again, the color clarity on here is really decent. Now this is running with an i5 Skylake processor, a sixth generation Intel chip. Uh, so it really is running quite quickly, uh, especially for web browsing. So this is really not going to be a problem if you are uh, doing a lot of web intensive work. Uh, even web development work is going to be just fine on here. It's very quick to respond and uh, render web pages. Even when I have an ad blocker off, it's pulling in all the JavaScript very quickly and uh, is processing all of that quite well. And on the Octane benchmark test, this one got a score of 28,382, which is really interesting. It puts it about where uh, last year's Broadwell i7 chips were on the on that octane test at least so as a web browsing machine you're not going to have any problems at all this is a really good performer uh, for a lot of the tasks that business users will be doing with it another thing that business users tend to do is write word documents and this is our template that really uh, pushes microsoft word pretty hard with a lot of uh, graphics and rendering to do and you can see here everything is really snappy and uh, responsive as we're scrolling through the document here and uh, again you're not going to have any problems doing word processing or spreadsheets or powerpoint presentations on here either now this is a business machine, so it's really not designed for gaming. There's no separate graphics processor built in or anything like that. It runs on the standard uh, Intel Graphics 520 here, but we are running Minecraft, and uh, this kind of game does well on this kind of machine. So it doesn't require all that much for graphical horsepower, and as a result, we're getting uh, frame rates well above 100 in most cases here as we're playing Minecraft. I do have the Optifine Performance Enhancing plugin built in, so uh, it does do pretty decently for casual games. You will not be playing uh, the latest and greatest AAA titles, but older games should work fine. A lot of retro stuff, of course, will work well too. So uh, not bad as a gaming platform, probably good for the business traveler who wants to play a game every once in a while. Uh, not good for the serious gamer. On the 3D Mark benchmark test, we get a score of 5,749, which puts it pretty much where it should be for this particular processor. I can compare this to the Microsoft Surface Book when we have it detached from its keyboard dock, and that is running with the same uh, graphics hardware. We're getting about the same speed on it. And the sound is rather interesting. There are two speakers on each side here and they uh, fire downward. And normally I'm not a big fan of these because they tend to reflect whatever surface you, they are sitting on. So uh, in this case, it sounds better on this wooden table than it did on my uh, kitchen countertop, which is granite. So uh, there's going to be a, a variety of sound you're going to hear from this thing, depending on what the laptop is placed on. So I think if it's on a wooden surface, it'll probably be okay. The sound quality is not great. It doesn't have a nice range of sound. It's on par with other laptops, but there's a very nice stereo separation and almost an envelopment that I haven't heard on other downward facing speaker systems before. So it does have an interesting sound to it. Uh, not audiophile quality, but probably good enough for music and really a nice stereo separation. So if you're playing music kind of on a low volume, uh, I think you'll like the experience. Not bad for a uh, business laptop. Now, a lot of you have been asking about high bitrate movie files, so I figured I would take a look at a Blu-ray MKV here running at its native bitrate, and it seems to be working just fine. This is actually streaming out over my network, so if you had uh, files stored locally, you should do well with that. Uh, these Skylake processors are great for this kind of stuff, so video playback really isn't going to be any kind of issue for you. Although, if you are playing back movies at this uh, size and bitrate, I think there will be a battery cost, and as you heard earlier, uh, the battery life on here is not all that great. So that is the ThinkPad T460S, and this is a very nice continuation of a very long lineage of business laptops. It really does have a lot of that look and feel that we've experienced with other ThinkPads. It is a little bit larger, perhaps, than some other Ultrabooks we're seeing out there on the market at the moment, but I think ThinkPad buyers know what they want, and they'll get it uh, with this one. It really is a nice bearer of the ThinkPad name. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Shabib. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.